Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our weekly time of devotion and prayer. My name is Pastor Alyssa, and it is wonderful to be together. Uh, me here in our chapel at Lake Park Lutheran Church, and you in your homes, or perhaps driving, or wherever you are listening to this devotion. Um, it is good to be together. Of course, some of you might be joining us live on Wednesday at 6.30, and some of you might be watching in another sliver of time you have, and that is quite all right. Wherever you are in the schedule of your week, um, I'm so glad that you're here. Will you pray with me? Holy God, we thank you for the ways that you show up to come and be with us. So we ask that you might come and settle in this place, be with us now as we spend the next moments reflecting, praying, singing, being together. Remind us that we are all your saints. Amen. All Saints Day is approaching. We'll be celebrating that this Sunday, both in worship on Sunday morning, but then also in a vigil in the evening here at the church. And um, aware that that day is coming up, I thought we might read one of the texts that's appointed for this weekend. This is the second reading that's appointed for All Saints Day. And it comes from the book of 1 John. If you have a Bible with you, I invite you um, to, to grab that so that you can read along with me. This is um, a letter. Um, and you'll find it towards the end of your Bible, 1 John chapter 3, and we'll read verses 1 through 3. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope <clears throat> in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. I invite you just to take a moment, a deep breath, um, uh, a second of silence here as we let that sink into our spirits and then I'll read it again. So if you would breathe in with me. And breathe out. Let's read the scripture again and see what we hear anew this time in the reading. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. So if you want to take another deep breath, if you will, with me in just a second of silence as we let the scripture settle into our spirits. So breathe in with me. I am really struck in reading the scripture um, that, that there's this idea that we are all like God, right? Because we are children of God, but that we don't always recognize ourselves that way and that we're not always recognized that way. Maybe partially because we don't always recognize God. That's sort of the sentiment that's going on in the scripture here. 
it strikes me as very familiar because um, in our world, we, we don't always do a great job of recognizing each other as the children of God that we are. In the news lately, um, that has been made even more profound and more real. I know that some of you, many of you, um, especially the queer commun community, are feeling particularly um, tender and at risk because um, some of our humanity, some of us, um, fear that we um, are at risk of not being recognized as the full people we are in this world. All of us, the scripture says, are children of God. All of us are saints. All of us are children of God. As we approach All Saints Day, I wonder what it is like to just spend some time thinking about that. To spend some time thinking of um, not just others as saints, but also remembering that we too are saints. That together the living and the dead are all saints, all children of God. So today I wondered if we might do a little activity. So I want to invite you to grab a piece of paper and something to write or draw with. Pause the video if you need to. Or if you don't want to do that, it's okay. Just do it in your head. Um, but I want to invite you to just reflect a little bit on some of the saints that are in your life. So if you would, take a moment and think of the name of a saint, a child of God, a person who is living, a saint. Hold their name. Um, write their name down, maybe. Next, I want to invite you to um, think of the name of a saint who has passed and is in eternity now. The name of a saint who has died. The name of a person, um, a child of God who's no longer with us. Write down their name or hold their name in your spirit now. Think now of a name of a person who is easy for you to love someone who brings you joy and for someone who your relationship is strong. What is the name of this saint? What is the name of this child of God? Write down this name or hold their name um, in your heart as we contemplate together. Next, think of a person who is not easy for you to love. Think of the name of someone who you feel um, maybe frustrated or irritated with. Write down that name of that saint, that child of God. And finally, write down the name or think of a person who you feel far away from. Maybe someone um, who you are physically far away from or perhaps someone who you have a strained relationship with. Think of that name, the name of this person who is indeed also a saint and also a child of God. Write down that name or hold their name in your
We are all children of God. We are all children of God. All of us, saints, the living and the dead. We are all children of God. It's hard to remember sometimes that the saints are not just those who have passed on, but that they're also all of us. All of us. Even when the world tells us differently. We have lost so many lives this year in our country. And the grief and the loss is profound. This year, All Saints Day is different. We are remembering so many people, so many saints, the names that you listed and so many more. Those who have died from COVID and those who have died from injustices in our country and those who have died from illness and those who are living, those who we've been close to in the midst of, of the pandemic and those who we feel really far away from. We are honoring so many saints this year. So I invite you, if you haven't yet, to make sure that you submit the names of some of those saints that you're remembering, perhaps some of the names that you wrote down today or other names that come to your mind of saints living or dead that you would like to honor. Please help us as we um, try to, to honor all the lives of all the saints. For we are all children of God. Amen. We move now into our time of prayer as we remember the saints and all the prayers that are on our hearts. As we pray, I invite you to sing with me this prayer song. Um, it's a song that we've sang a lot at Lake Park recently. I want Jesus to walk with me. There's a couple different verses, so I invite you to sing along with me if you know the words or just to listen. I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. All along my pilgrim journey. Jesus to walk with me in my trials Lord walk with me in my trials Lord walk with me When the shades of life are falling, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. In my sorrows, Lord, walk with me. In my sorrows, Lord, walk with me. When my heart is aching, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. Please pray with me. We light these candles as we offer our prayers to our God, who we know hears us and listens to our prayers. Please pray with me. Lord God of heaven and earth, Lord God of all the saints, Lord God of the living and the dead, we come to you. Thanking you for the saints in our lives, the ones who we are close with, the ones who are hard to love, 
the ones who are close to us and with us still and the ones who have passed away. We bring to you their names now, honoring their lives and remembering them this week. And so we pray for the saints. We invite you to speak some of those names aloud now as you're able in your own space. God, we pray too for our whole world, for all places of suffering and for all places um, that need your tender love. We pray especially for our country in the midst of this political process that we are in. We pray that you might move our country to um, help people vote, to make their voices known and that you might walk with us in the weeks ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray too, of course, for our own family and friends who are in need of your love. We offer prayers for those who are sick and isolated and lonely, especially for Jim Hutchinson, and for their whole family, for Rich and Sue, and for all those in our community who live alone and are isolated. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I offer a prayer for all of us as we are in a time of deep stress and anxiety be with us O oh god and bring us strength and comfort bring us peace bring us a rest bring us wisdom and help us care for each other lord in your mercy hear our prayer and finally i invite you to offer your own prayers you can either submit them as we pray together in the chat box or say them out loud. We know that God holds and hears all of our prayers. The prayers that we've figured out how to say and the ones that we haven't figured out how to say yet. The prayers that we hold that are united together with the prayers of the saints of all the ages. So God, we place these prayers before you, knowing that you hear them. Amen. It's been good to be together today to take a moment of uh, silence and prayer and contemplation. Remember as you go out that our creator has made us, all of us, in the image of God, that we are children of God, that all of us are the saints. Remember as we head into All Saints Day to keep honoring those saints in your life and to send in those names so that we can hold those names together. In all of our grief and all of our loss and all of the lives that we've lost this year, um, All Saints Day may be heavy for us, especially those of us who have lost someone, um, perhaps to COVID in these last months. Know that you are held. Know that all the saints are held in the love of God. Be gentle with yourselves care for each other, remember the saints, and go in peace. Thanks for coming today. Blessings.